hello and i am back with another video this time on a digital screen instead of an actual video and by the screen right now you can probably tell what this is going to be about this is the Haya evolved figure preview because i have recently just pre-ordered the figure um just a few weeks ago and i wanted to pre-order it so i don't have to get the hassle of it going out of stock right away and then waiting for it to come back in stock so i pre-ordered it and um it's coming out it's i'm it's getting here in november and mm, i'm very excited for the figure so i wanted to make this video talking about it now the movie released on march 29th and it's currently august so it's really nice that we're already getting lots of good figures i already have in hand the pre-evolved godzilla haya toys figure and it's a perfect figure in my opinion and it's sh monster arts has a probably a pretty big problem with haya because of how good haya is currently doing and i really hope this evolved figure really matches the hype of the pre-evolved figure because just how good this figure was so now done all that talking we're gonna move on to the figure itself starting off with the size now from this picture it says the figure will be 18 centimeters tall and that in that is a pretty tall height i'm pretty sure that's around the same height as the pre-evolved figure and we can see in this figure picture it looks really nice the pink dorsal plates um but i want to save that all for the next few slides and looking at this picture more I am wondering why his foot is off the ground. That could just be a editing issue, but I wonder if that's them trying to boost up the height or something. <clears throat> I don't know, it's probably me being a little weird, but size is pretty simple. I do not know the length. I could not find any photos of the length. Probably wasn't too hard, but I kind of threw this together. So there's the size, a pretty good size for a Godzilla figure and should match with the other figures. With the looks, we have, for the looks, I found a relatively similar picture with the Playmates and Hyatt Toys. I don't know why. I just decided to throw some Playmates in there just to make it all more interesting for a little more of a comparison. <clears throat> now, with these looks, it's insanely good. And ignoring the Playmates, if I zoom in here, you can see how good those are by the spikes at the jaw and the eyes, the pink dorsal plates moving from his face all the way down into the bigger ones, the coloring, the little spikes on his arms, the gills, the little beard he has, the teeth, the scaling, it all just fits the, th the what I want is the slimness of his chest. Everything just fits in so well that tongue that did so well with these pictures pictures i mean the figure itself and those dorsal fins are a very good pink and a very good shape maybe not the right size but it fits with the character now i guess i should have shown the tail of the figure i guess i should have shown the tail of the figure here but that also looks very good, and I'll go over that in later photos on the later topics. Now, here's some more photos of the figure. This is a really close-up version. You can see those gills a little better. That face, the jaw kind of spikes. You can see the dorsal fins a little bit closer, as well as that scaling and the thinness of his chest, like in the movie, those arm spikes which i do feel like are a little small but the rest of the figure the paint job all looks beautiful in my opinion i really like what they did here and then of course you can see that tail which they keep that spike i really wish i had a picture of the tip of the tail but i do not but you can see this you can show the legs it shows the legs which look really nice those arms a little better and that chest of course as well as that head it all looks really nice, and I'm really happy with what, what they did here, and I'm really excited to review this figure in hand. Now with my thoughts in general. My thoughts in general are the fact that Haya is absolutely destroying the playing field 
over SH Monster Arts, Super 7, Playmates, obviously. <clears throat> and NECA doesn't really have a shot. But Haya is doing a wonderful job with their figures and new fresh. A lot of new photos have been coming out of this figure, and they are just looking fantastic. I cannot wait till people start getting this figure in hand, and I cannot wait till I get this figure in hand. It looks so good compared to the real thing, and just in my opinion, I love how it looks and how it just, the cool feeling of being able to have an evolved figure in hand is awesome, and in general, I just can't wait to get this figure. So anyways, this was a little short video. I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.